Hey guys, welcome back in CodeSphere. So today in this brand new series, I'm going to show you that how you can upload a video in Firebase database and then retrieve it in Recycler View using ExoPlayer and then you will be able to delete it, open it in new activity with a full screen toggle button. So guys, this is a Firebase video streaming app series and it is going to be a multiple part series. So you can see that when I will click on this text view choose video, so we will be able to choose any video and uh, now you can see that we came on this activity and here I'm able to pick any video. So here I will choose one video and that video will load here. So you can see that video is loaded here and we also have a media controller. So after this when I will give it a name. So write demo video and after giving this name guys when you will click on this button upload. So you can see that this progress bar is now visible. And you can see that video is uploaded successfully and the progress bar become invisible and here also a child is created so after this when you will click on this text view show video then you will be able to see all the videos that you have uploaded so guys now we have uploaded a demo video so you can see that its name is showing here demo video and uh, you know you can see that the video started loading and you will be able to search that video because we are implementing the search view so if you will write here demo video then you can see that this video is showing here and after this when you will click on this video so you can see that we will go to a next activity and you can see that it is another activity and uh, here our video is loaded with this name and after this when you will click on this full screen button so you will see that our video will become full screen yes guys now you can see that video is streaming in full screen and after this you can see that droppable here is also changed when i will click on this again so you can see that it will be portrait yes guys and after this when you will click on the back button so you can see that we came on this activity and uh, again you can see all the videos here and after this if you will long click any of this video so if i will long click on this so there will be a message you can see that it is showing delete are you sure to delete this data and when i will click on the button yes so you will be able you can see that uh, this child here is deleted from now that we have added yet so you can see that our app is uh, working pretty fine so today in this series in this firebase video streaming app series i will show you that how you can do this in your android app how you can make a app like this video uploading app using firebase cloud firestore so guys make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update so without wasting time let's start so guys this is part one and in this part we will create only activity underscore xml file so you can see that this is just a blank project and we will start from the scratch but first of all i want to show you the gradle and which dependencies you have to add in your gradle build for doing this so first of all you have to add your project to firebase and if you don't know how to do this you came first time on this channel then its link is showing on the top and you can go and watch that video because i have already made a video on android firebase connection and uh, after this i will show you you can see that this is my gradle build and the dependencies that you have to add in your gradle build so first one is firebase analytics and uh, then you can see that these are the five dependencies for exoplayer this is the first one this is second this is third no sorry this is picasso and this is the uh, third one this is fourth this is fifth and this is sixth so there are five dependencies basically you have to add in your gradle build for using firebase sorry for using exoplayer and after this you can see that this is a firebase database dependency you have to add this one also and firebase storage and firebase ui database dependency and guys this dependency ui database is the most important one because uh, this will help us in retrieving the videos in recycler view and uh, these are some most important dependencies that you have to add in your gradle build so now after this we will create xml file so you can see that this is a blank project and our parent layout is constant layout so here first of all that i will change it to linear layout and uh, then here we will simply use a uh, video view for showing our video and its width will be match parent height will be 230 dp and uh, then id will be video view underscore main and uh, then we will give margin to this parent so simply write margin and this will be 10 dp so now you can see that there is a little bit of space here so you can see that it is visible easily so if i will zoom it you can see so after this video view what here we will do that uh, we will give it uh, so we need to give background tint android color black 
yes guys now you can see that it is looking black so let me remove this black color from background because uh, this is a black and uh, after this guys here what we need to do that we will use a uh, edit text for our title or description whatever you want to say that and its width will be match parent height will be wrap content and uh, hint will be title or you can say that video name and uh, then text size will be 20 sp and uh, id will be id et underscore video underscore oops underscore name and guys uh, now you can see that it is not visible here so you guys may be thinking that why it is not showing so for this we need to fix orientation so simply write orientation and this will be vertical now you can see that it is easily visible so after this i will give margin so margin will be 10 dp and uh, then background tint will be color primary so now you can see that there is a little bit of color there is a little bit of color under this line and uh, then we will give text color text color will be android black and uh, yes guys so it will not change the hint text color because we are giving the text color so when someone will type something then its color will be black then here we will give auto text so what it basically do that uh, it uh, if you give some wrong spelling then it will automatically make it right that is what it do so after this what here we need to do that uh, it's all ready so after this here we will use two text views so let me so first text view it's it will be wrap content sorry not match parent it will be wrap content wrap content and uh, height will be wrap content and uh, text will be choose video and uh, this will be clickable so clickable or uh, instead of clickable yes we need clickable sorry clickable and pass it through then we will create on click on click will be choose video then layout gravity it will be center so now you can see that it is in the center then i will give uh, margin in the top margin top 20 dp yes guys and uh, then here let me give it yes close it so as you can see that it is showing error so for solving it we need to create a method so simply click on this red bulb and create choose video view activity in main activity so now you can see that there is activity created i mean there is a method created but uh, in this video we are not going to code java part we will only create xml file so it is a series so i will upload uh, one by one and uh, then in the last video so you can understand more easily and it will be easy to understand you because uh, it is going to be a long series because we will do a lot of things regarding firebase exo player recycler view full screen everything is uh, everything will be present in this tutorial so after this text view here we will use uh, another text view for uh, going to our videos activity so simply copy this one and then paste it here so we will change its text to show videos so simply write show video and uh, guys after this here we will change this method so here we will give show video and you can again see that it is showing error so what we can do is uh, let me first make it right so for this simply click on this bulb and again we will click the method again it is clicked i mean created here so after this method here what we need to do is that we will use a button for uploading our so simply write which will be match parent height will be wrap content and uh, then id it will be button underscore upload underscore main i'm writing this main for uh, understanding that it is a activity main underscore xml id and it is a widget of main activity so then we will give margin 20 dp then 
text and the text will be upload so simply write upload and uh, then now you can see that it is almost complete so let me close this and after this guys here we will use a simply a progress bar so write progress bar which will be match parent height will be wrap content and uh, you know its uh, style will be horizontal and uh, then indeterminate it will be true so it will make the progress bar uh, it will not show the exact progress it will just uh, come and go so it is like alternate it will show alternate progress so after this indeterminate uh, tint and here we will give android color orange yes guys you can see that now it is orange and uh, then after this we will give it visibility so it will be invisible because we will make it visible when we will click on this button upload so after this here we need to give the most important attribute it is id so give it id progress bar underscore main and then close it so as now you can see that this is our activity underscore xml file and i think we are not missing anything we have one video view and one edit text two text views and one button and a progress bar for our for uploading our data in database so as this is enough for this part in next part we will choose the video and load it in video view so make sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, please press the bell icon so you will never miss any future update and uh, other parts of this tutorial thank you for watching